What's up guys, this is Jeff with another video. Today I want to show you how to assemble this wooden TV stand model TVS 015-WBK105-1-RR. Also, I put the purchase link in the description section below for you. The dimensions of the package sent to you are approximately 117 cm long by 48 cm wide by 16 cm height and its weight is approximately 55 pounds. As you see this picture show you the assembled size of this TV stand. To start, find a clean area like a carpet or cardboard and cut it around the box and take out the pieces from inside and arrange them around you in such a way that you can easily read the letters and numbers on them. Assembling in the manual is a little different from this assembly because I do some back and forth steps based on my work experience. So if you want to be with me in this path, prepare a cup of coffee and get to the work. The required tools for assembling are a Phillips screwdriver size 2 or medium and an Allen wrench size 3 mm that's sent to you with package. Also if you have a drill, the assembly will be done faster. Start the assembly with part 9 and turn 6 can screws or part B inside the holes that are placed close to the edge. The screws must be straight and completely turned inside the wood until the edge of the screws. If you use a drill, be sure to put the drill on the lowest power value and if necessary, gradually increase its number until drill completely turn the screws into the wood. I recommended that if you are not familiar with the drill, do not use it. Now do the same operation for part 8 with 6 camera screws. And install 4 camera screws in the side holes on the parts number 1. On part number 4, only use two camera screws for the two outer holes. Now insert wooden dowels or part A into the holes of parts number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 10. Except for parts number 4 which only require 2 wooden dowels, 4 wooden dowels must be installed for the rest.
connect part number four to part number five in such a way that their grooves are aligned and then connect them with the hidden cams or part C. Install part number 3 to part number 4 in such a way that its groove is on the upper side and outward. Then connect them together with two Allen screws or part D. Insert the board or part 7 along the groove regardless of its front or back. Now install part number 8 to the rest of the parts in such a way that its groove is on the upper side and inward. And also the cam screws are in the desired place. Then Connect them together with hidden cams or part C. Turn the parts and connect part number 2 so that its groove is in line with the groove of part number 8 with two hidden cams or part C in such a way that the holes on it is facing up.
Insert the board or part 6 along the groove regardless of its front or back. And finally, install part number one in such a way that its groove is on the inside and in line with part number six and connect the parts with four hidden cams or part C. Install six plastic supports or part edge on the back of the TV stand so that its thin part is placed inside the groove. The required screws are in the same plastic package. If you want to use the TV stand on a wooden surface and install 8 pieces of double adhesive tape or part I in the below of the TV stand or part number 8. But if it's to be used on the carpet, you don't need to install this adhesive tape. Well, the first half of the construction of this TV stand is over. Now we are going to second stage, which is almost similar to the first stage. 
Again, first connect two parts number four and five so that their grooves are in the same direction with two cam screws or part C. Then connect part number 10 to part number 4 in such a way that its groove is on the upper and outside with two cam screws or part C. Insert the board of part 7 along the groove regardless of its front or back. Now install part number 9 to the rest of the parts in such a way that its groove is on the upper side and inward. And also the cam screws are in the desired place. Then connect them together with hidden cams or part C. Turn the parts and connect part number 2 so that its groove is in line with the groove of part number 9 with two hidden cams or part C. In such a way that the hole on it is facing up, insert the board or part 6 along the groove regardless of its front or back. And finally, install part number 1 in such a way that its groove is on the inside and in line with part number 6 and then connect parts with 4 hidden caps or part C. Again, install six plastic supports or part H on the back of the TV stand so that its thin part is placed inside the grooves. Install four pieces of double adhesive tape or part I in the below of the TV stand or part number one. 
If you have a few adhesive tape like me, you can divide them into the two parts and install them. Connect the outlet in the desired location with two screws or part E. Install the hidden cams cover or part J in the required places. Now, according to the style of the TV stand, arrange them and install the holder or part G to prevent the TV stand from falling. Remove the battery holder from the remote controller. LEDs are divided into two parts. One path has one series of LEDs and the second path has two series of LEDs. First, pass the first series inside the hole and then remove the cover of the adhesive tape and stick it under the first shell. Then pass the rest of the cable through the hole on the back and insert it from the other side of the TV stand. Then connect the second path of LEDs in the left part. And connect the shorter part.
use adhesive clips to hold the LEDs wires. Connect the adapter socket to the LED socket. You can connect the plugs of adapter to the outlet on the TV stand and then connect the plugs to the power or connect the adapter plugs directly to the separate outlet. Now by turning on the remote control, you can set the color of the lights as well as their different modes. Please be sure to install the safety bracket or part L on the wall to prevent unfortunate events. You done and don't forget what you need to do right now. Yes, subscribe, like and turn on all notifications. I hope this video was help you in assembling this TV stand until next video.